Irish queers. I want to tell you a true story. When I was a young child, my parents took me shopping, and they allowed me to pick out my new winter hat. And I found this one, and it was blue, almost purple, with this very large red pom-pom on top. Very gay. And I instantaneously fell in love with it, and I couldn't wait to go to school the next day and show it off. But when I did, it seemed that all the other children had something else in mind for it. And what they would do was, they would pull at the red pom-pom until they finally got my hat off my head, and they toss it about, calling me names like queer, fag, homo, girl. Girl. Precious child. <laughs> anyway, I would pick up my hat off the ground and I would walk home with it and I would apologize to it and I would feel sort of worthless that I couldn't protect it. And this happened so often that eventually I stopped wearing my hat to school. Oh. And then, one day, it was cold outside, and my mother said to me, Why aren't you wearing your hat? It's cold. So I put it on, but inside out, so I had this big lump on top of my head. And my mother said to me, Stop acting so silly. Why are you acting so silly? So I broke down crying, and I told her. And she said, Well, did you ask these other children to stop? And I said, Yes. And she said, And they didn't? And then she said, well, then, did you ask the teacher to ask them to stop? And I said, yes. And she said, and they didn't. And then she said, well, then I think you should have told the principal to ask them to stop. I said, I did. And she said, and they didn't stop. And then my mother leaned down, and she looked me in my eyes, and she said to me, come to the sewing room. <laughs> She took me down to her sewing room and she handed me a handful of straight pins. And she instructed me to stick the th pins through the pom pom in all different directions. I couldn't wait to go to school the next day. And when I did, Every kid that took a swipe at my red pom-pom got a handful of pins. They never touched my hat again. And now, now that red pom-pom somehow has transformed into this red wig. Many times I'd like to run home and crawl into my mother's arms and cry. Cry because I pay my taxes every goddamn year and I know I do not have the same rights as my parents. I'd like to cry because I see my friends getting ill and dying of AIDS and I know that my government doesn't give a damn. I like to cry because every day of my life I feel as though I encounter homophobia in some form or another. And although this parade was fabulous, the truth is, when it's over, I will walk two blocks away and live with the fear that I may get bashed. But I don't cry. Oh no. I'm much too proud, and I'm not much too powerful. And I believe in giving up a good fight. So, my dear fabulous queers, I ask you, I urge you, come to the sewing room. <laughs>